These flames shook a Stockton neighborhood. Flames residents on Myrtle Street say could have been avoided. And I found out where it started was in the pallet yard. And me as well as every single person down this block have called the city repeatedly, calling people out. We called OSHA, we called the code enforcement. There is a hazard here. The employees are going to get hurt. A fire is going to start. It was, it was a mess in here and they've came out and left. But the city of Stockton says the business was cited after several complaints. We have received multiple complaints um, and that is what ultimately led to the formal notice of violation that they received on the 9th of May. Everything, everything I've owned my entire life is gone. Trisha Payne says that wasn't enough. She shows us what's left of her home. And it's burned down, the ashes. Um, you don't see any remnants of my furniture. It's all completely soot. It's but she tells us when she found out about the fire and got here to her home, it was way too late to get any belongings or any of her pets. Residents we talked with are demanding action. I want answers. I want to know how this started and I want I want to know why it wasn't prevented when we we all called out for prevention. We all called out for help and we seemingly we feel ignored. The fire just shut on up. Right along with the smoke. This woman suffered burns from the fire. She talked only to us. On my arm, over here on my face. My Pat Snipe ear. shows us her blisters, her injuries. She was rushed to the hospital. I thought I was going to fall and pass out. She received burns on her arms, ear, and legs as she was trying to run to safety. The fire was so hot, I was running down the sidewalk, down to the corner. And that's when it, the heat hit me. Her son took this cell phone video showing how fast the fire was spreading. I was hurt because I knew I could have prevented this if someone would have just listened to me. My mind wouldn't be burnt. People wouldn't have their houses burnt up.